If you've been a car enthusiast for any period of time, you've likely heard about Cobb Tuning. And since we were driving through Texas, we thought we'd stop by their headquarters and see what they got going on. Hey guys, this is Charles at Cobb Tuning. We're here at the headquarters in Austin, Texas. Let's take a look around. So this is the customer service area. Uh, we talk on the phone and answer your emails uh, pretty much from all around the world. So anytime you give us a ring or shoot us an email, one of us here is gonna be the ones chatting with you. Let's take a peek in the warehouse. So this is the warehouse at Cobb Tuning. Anytime you purchase something off the website, whether it be an access port or an exhaust, it all comes off these shelves here in Austin. Behind us here, we've got the lathe and the mill. Uh, so anytime you guys are buying shift knobs from us or any kind of battery tie downs, they're all done in these machines here. So it's pretty cool to come back here any time of the day and see what these guys are working on. Back behind me, we've actually got uh, the pipe bending section. So this is where we bend a lot of our uh, exhausts. And if you head on over here, this is actually the welding station. So you see Shady over here uh, welding up looks like a downpipe and we've got a number of other you know, kind of Jesse cats and other things we're working on. So this is actually Cobb's workshop. So anytime we're designing new uh, cat back exhausts, downpipes, fueling components, intakes, uh, whatever, it's all tested and fitted here. So this is the R&D facility. So this is Cobb's DinoJet Dino. Anytime we're testing out new parts, it's all done here on this all-wheel drive dyno. And then right behind me, we've actually got a classroom. So sometimes we'll teach uh, pro tuner seminars uh, and whatnot, it's all done here. So this is actually one of my favorite rooms here at Cobb Tuning. This is the access port repair room and programming room. Uh, so this is actually where we line up all the access ports uh, to get programmed into the various part numbers. And uh, we also complete any repairs. So this is the engineering section at Cobb. This is where we do a lot of the work on the ECUs and ROMs as they come in. Uh, so any new car development as well as transmission tuning. So right now we're working on some of the Volkswagen DSG stuff and uh, the Porsche PDK. So a lot of the Caymans, Boxsters, 911s, all done here. Cobb is always working on new things. And there were a lot of things there that I couldn't show you since it's still not announced. But there was something they were working on that I can tell you about. Transmission tuning. They're taking modifying cars one step further. And with dual-clutch transmissions becoming more prevalent, why don't we mod those too? Many major brands are making dual-clutch transmissions. But what better car to start with than this one? Hey everybody, I'm Marshall with Cobb Tuning. Uh, this is our 2014 911 Turbo, it's a 991 chassis. We use this car for our PDK tuning development, so let's take a look and see what it's all about. If you think about it, Porsche tunes the PDK transmissions to uh, factory power levels. Since we're increasing the power output of the engine, tweaking a bit of tables in the transmission allows the car to drive better with that increased power output. So on the access port, when you go to the tune menu on most of the cars we support, you would see engine tuning options only. These cars, you're gonna have the options for uh, changing the PDK map. Sequential style map offers some custom features. Pull both paddles, it'll drop the car into neutral, and then as soon as you let go, it puts the car right back into the gear that you were in before. We have what we call no creep. So most of the time, an automatic transmission car, if you're at a stop and you let off the brake, it'll start rolling forward uh, as power is transferred into the transmission. Uh, this car will not grab the clutches until you actually apply pressure to the accelerator pedal, be it in reverse or uh, drive. Another feature is the inverted shifter stock. Uh, we've inverted that to be more of a sequential style uh, shifter. So when you're accelerating, you're pulling back, it kind of goes with the acceleration of the car uh, rather than fighting against it. My name is Mitch McKee. Uh, I'm an ECU reverse engineer as well as the expert group lead for the Porsche platform. Mm -hmm. 
Dual clutches are different in that they don't have torque converters. They're not like a standard automatic transmission. Essentially what they are is they are a manual gearbox um, with basically two gearboxes that are integrated to work together that basically interchange for even and odd gears. We worked on it for about seven to eight months. A lot of that was reverse engineering, uh, how the factory control system works. So trying to get a good understanding of it took us a long time. Transmission shifts are faster by about 40% uh, on our newest versions of maps. We get rid of some of the clutch slip. That's important because it helps to expand the life of the clutches. Um, Porsche had some factory calibration logic where it would slip clutches continuously. Um, that puts a little bit of extra wear on the clutches and we get rid of that. Some other nice features about the PDK tuning is that we can increase line pressure. So if a car makes a lot of horsepower, um, we can increase the line pressure to make the clutches hold so that they don't slip under higher power. Yeah, I think in the future that we will see a lot more transmission tuning. The things that we can do now and with you know some of the newer transmissions that are coming out, you know things are going to get faster and faster. So um, you know a lot of companies are doing away with manuals just for this reason because you know the PDKs and these style of transmission is just so good that um, you know it's faster than a manual gearbox even if you prefer the manual. Um, it's just it's kind of the future. We get a lot of customers that say, you know, they really enjoy the engine tuning side of it, but we've had a lot of guys that say they actually almost prefer transmission tuning because it makes the car so much more fun to drive. Um, it really changes the whole dynamic of the car. It makes it just, it, it's a totally different car after the transmission flash. You know, I'm looking forward to more and more people using it. Transmission tuning is the latest and greatest from Cobb Tuning, but there's plenty of other things that they're working on here in Austin, Texas. They come out with new stuff all the time, so keep an eye out on the social media to see what's next. I hope you all enjoyed this quick tour of the Cobb Tuning headquarters and maybe learned a little something about transmission tuning. But that's it for this week. We'll see you next Saturday. <laughs>